I had to kiss uh, Scarlett, had to kiss Scarlett Johansson. I mean, come on. Can you imagine how horrible that was for me? Can you imagine how awful that was? It would have been so awful. It was hell. Okay, first of all. <laughs> for Lad Bible, Matt Damon revealed to his not just Oppenheimer co-star, Emily Blunt, that kissing Scarlett for the 2011 movie We Bought a Zoo was a smelly experience. We did a shot before lunch, and it was like this nice little two shot that ended in the kiss. Mm -hmm. And it was really good. And we went to lunch, and she and I both thought it was over. And she had some garlic sandwich. She ate like an onion sandwich. After finishing her apparent onion sandwich, Scarlett returned to set and saw the camera set up. Cameron Crowe had set the camera up and it was like a tight shot of the kiss. And she goes, oh, sh she goes, <laughs> I literally just had, I had like an onion sandwich. I got a big crush on you and I just can't get a handle on it. Now, Emily then asks Matt a question that could be the end of his marriage. Like, I mean, like bro code? This should be like actor code that you don't ask a fellow actor this question on camera. But were you still sort of slightly aroused getting to do that with her or not? Like the company line is, intimate scenes are mechanical and there's a whole crew involved and yeah, it's never sexy at all. Matt's gonna suddenly go, yeah, I was totally turned on by Scarlett. Yeah, no. No, I was making fun of her the entire okay, time good. about her onion breath, which I didn't even smell. Perfect. Because her, bre her breath perfect. smells like roses. <laughs> <laughs> now, Emily might not follow the etiquette of not asking that question, but she does know the etiquette when it comes to kissing scenes. And you gotta brush your teeth. I agree. Use some mouthwash. Strongly agree. Stick some gum on the roof of your mouth. Yes, why And not? then we can kiss. And Emily and Matt had plenty of time to perfect that etiquette in their last movie. I love you. I love you. Lots of time. Still going time. You'd be able to taste the onion at this point. Did you actually do it before? Do... Before? Yeah. Did you not? No. Oh. Before? Dare they? How dare he's you? Dressed so as his, he's dressed I'm as I'm dressed his very much like the guy I played in the Adjustment Bureau. That 2011 movie was okay. And it was a hit at the box office. It made $127 million worldwide, but probably because it was kind of a Jason Bourne ripoff. Door, 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 door. Find another door. That the film has not stood the test of time. The oh or, my God! What did someone call it the other day? Someone said, I loved you in the attachment bureau. <laughs> <laughs> That's how well known the film is. It didn't make the TBS Saturday afternoon rotation. <laughs> yes, it lasted. It lasted. It lasted. <laughs> it lasted. Really lasted. I'm very sorry about time. that. But thank you so much. Did thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much. What I love about that moment is that it shows how humble and down to earth both Matt and Emily are. Like that would bother some other actors, and I've been in circumstances. Not when I've said something like that, but like, I've seen where actors can get uh, yeah put off when like you know someone doesn't know their work or didn't watch the movie or something like that. Um, their mood immediately changes. They become very standoffish. Matt and Emily, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. This was, this was fun. a lot of fun. <laughs> Whatever, like it's just a movie they made. They made more memorable ones than that one. They paid the bills. Yeah, they moved on. It was 12 years ago. They had fun. Whatever. Like, yeah, it just doesn't phase them at all. I love it. Did you actually do it before? Did... Before? Yeah. Did you not? Know? Oh. Oh. Dare they? Now you could react to that, or you could react to Scarlet Sandwich, but I want to know your reaction to Emily asking Matt that question. But were you still sort of slightly aroused getting to do that with her or not?